Human civilization has come a long way since the age of stone. We went through countless evolution beyond imagination as a society. We went from being cave dwellers that used rocks as our tool to modern humans that build our own roof and work with complex computers every day of our lives. After the very first industrial revolution, that was the era of water and steam engine, to the second industrial revolution was the introduction of electric machines into factories and the introduction of the production line. And third industrial revolution was the introduction of intelligent electronic and computerized control of production. We are now undergoing the fourth industrial revolution that is called the age of digitalization. Information comes and goes faster than ever before and transactions happen every millisecond without people meeting each other. Sounding as efficient as in mind, this convenience never comes without a price. By working countless hours in front of a computer, in a tiny cubicle that is your workplace, people have since gradually ignored their health for the sake of productivity. And the byproduct of this lifestyle is called civilization illness, the curse of progress. Do you know what is modern civilization illness? Um, I'm not so aware on, on uh, the term. I've heard of it, but I'm not really too sure what is it. Uh, I don't know. Do you know many people are having back pain or body posture issues due to overtime of using laptops or smartphones? Yes, I think I think especially uh, today's generation, I think this kind of issue is quite common. Uh. Uh, yes, uh, sometimes it's also happened to me. Ah, uh, this I know, I know. Because now my friends are very often using this computer. They are always going to buy some computer to use. Do you encounter any of this problem? For me myself, uh, no, because I have, uh, I have constant exercise. Yeah, sometimes uh, when I use my phone too much on my laptop, I'm sitting down. Yeah, sometimes I feel a little bit better. Ah, me. Modern civilization disease is also known as lifestyle disease. It is not caused by bacteria or viruses, but a long-term accumulation caused by stress and tension in life nutritional disorders, and lack of exercise. There are many types of disease which are heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and obesity. However, back injury is the top cause of job-related disability, but many people have ignored it. Dr. Nita is a physiotherapist with over 12 years of experience. She has her own center based in Penang Island and specializes in sport injuries and orthopedic cases. Scoliosis is actually they born with it. It's genetic. Uh, nowadays, most of the kids are getting it due to their. We can also say it's a modern civilization. You know, the modern way of our work style, education style. It is very, uh, very obvious now since the MCO started, because all of us are working at home. So when you work at home, you forget that you are actually in front of the screen for many hours and we stop interacting to everybody. So that's where when you hunch, scoliosis started. Your, your spine get curved. It's called curved spine. And mainly it's genetic. Some of them born with it. Those days we don't notice it because we are out, we are active. Now it is more noticeable because the back pain and everything. Because they sit a lot. They don't keep the back muscles strong. It was there all the while. But now it's becoming more uh, noticeable because of lifestyle. Eunice, who just graduated in 2021 and currently works as a purchaser, is one of the office workers who are also facing back pain problems. Her back pain problems had become more serious when she had to sit in front of the laptop for a long period of time during the pandemic. Hi, I'm Eunice. I'm 24 this year. I did ballet when I was younger. So my instructor has always told me that I have slanting shoulders uh, and my posture was always like slanted to one side. If I'm not mistaken, my right shoulder was higher than my left shoulder. Not sure about now, but when I was young, it was very obvious that it was like slanting down. I didn't do anything about it then because I thought like, you know, like, I yeah, just slanting shoulders, just maybe second skin <laughs> so I didn't really do anything about it and then fast forward to MCO so that was when things got really bad 
Okay, so prior to MCO, I've never done work at home. I've always been to cafe, Starbucks, uh, came to digital library to do work, you know. So I've never really done any work at home until uh, MCO period. So during total lockdown, you know, you were forced to stay at home, okay. So the only few places you can go is your living room, your kitchen, your toilet, and then your desk and your chair, okay. I was at my desk and at my chair, either watching movies, either, you know, working, studying, uh, doing anything at the same position for the whole day. And that was when things start to get really bad lah, because you have really minimal movement. You can basically sit at your desk for two to three hours straight without walking up. And that is actually very bad lah. So I think that was when things got quite bad. Then secondly was because, um, so I tried to sleep down throughout MCO. Okay, so I followed uh, YouTube exercises. Okay, but the thing is, uh, I did not have a personal trainer. I have never trained uh, professionally before. So actually, I don't really know the correct way to do all those exercises. I was just experimenting with them myself. And I think the thing I didn't realize was I was using the wrong forces, pressure. I tried to do exercises, but then I think uh, I used the wrong tension. I used my neck, I used my back. So yeah, I think it affected, it really impacted lah. That was another one of the reasons. And then the third thing was, I was doing a part-time job back then. So that job required a lot of heavy lifting and we did also a lot of packing. So when we were packing, we were like, look down, you know, for like half of the day, you are looking down and you're packing. I actually go to a chiropractor. Yeah, because uh, I had a friend who had a quite a bad motor accident and his treatment was he went to a chiropractor so I followed along before I started my chiropractor treatment uh, my chiropractor asked me to go get an x-ray because if you get an x-ray uh, he can know which specific bone is like out of place so he can move that specific bone back to its original position yeah so I went for an x-ray and the x-ray is actually quite pricey an x-ray is about 380 for spine and neck the results came out i had minor scoliosis my bottom spine was quite curved and my neck bones were in a zigzag pattern so actually the when during the start of my treatment it was quite bad yeah so i visited my chiropractor around three times a week and Per session is 100 ringgit, so you really have to be prepared with the money to start this treatment lah, if you really want to treat your, your back. But then as time proceeded, you know, as the treatment progressed, uh, when, you, when you get start to get better, the chiropractor will ask you to go like maybe only two times a week, maybe one times a week, and then after that, uh, two weeks once, and then after that, one month once, then till now, I, the last time I went was two months ago already. So actually, I'm getting better. Lah. Like I can tolerate with the pain now. That means my bone is not that, you know, not that, <laughs> yeah, not that bad anymore. So yeah, that's that's the whole treatment process. When Eunice is facing the modern civilization's illness, she feels pain when lying down or standing. It also causes her can't sleep well. Besides that, it also affected Eunice's productivity when she was a student. She can't focus on doing assignments and even study well. She has to lay down when studying because she feels pain when she is sitting. Scoliosis is not only affected by long-term facing 3C products but also the wrong posture. Beatrice, who is a professional makeup artist, has also been troubled by this illness since primary school. Beatrice,然后我今年二十二岁,中学的时候就开始有发现我的背有一直很酸痛的感觉 
可能也 rely on 一个地方比较多，然后拿东西的时候我也是比较习惯用的手就 rely 那个地方会比较多那个地方，所以呃医生就要我用这样的方式起床，是因为我的这边是已经够用都比较比较用力比较多，所以会导致它。不不平，所以我就要用这个方式起床，因为它不会导致到呃更严重的那个啊 problem 哦。然后我那个椅子的话，是因为呃如果我驼背一直驼背没有靠椅子的话哈，我的我的对我的 scoliosis 会不好。之前是会通常是几个月看一次啊，可是现在他们的呃钱会比较。要给的比较多，说，呃，通常是我现在都是比较痛的时候，比较不舒服的时候，我才会去看那个医生哦，就很不舒服哦，做一样东西就会觉得，呃，一下子就会痛，一下子就痛，好像我化妆，我要单下来帮人家化妆的时候，我也是很不舒服。可是这也是一个工作嘛，生活就是要工作才能去，就算我要去医这个病，我也是要去赚钱才能医到这个病。The challenges and struggle that Beatrice faces is slightly different compared to Eunice. Beatrice has stopped the treatment before recovery because she can't afford the high amount of the treatment cost. She also feels annoyed when she has scoliosis because she has to buy furniture with good quality and high cost, such as chairs and beds. When people are facing modern civilization illness, seeking help from an expert or having treatment is important. Every age group, they are they have their own impact in different ways. Like for kids, mainly because they are hunching due to computer, electronic gadget, and as now MCO, they are studying at home with the electronic gadget. They started to hunch. That is for the younger one. Lah, for the middle age, because of their work. So most of the time, ah, when you all work, they forgot the time. So to rush to catch up the time, they don't look into their body. So they make it fast. They mess it up there. An elderly person, because of due to aging, so they started to drop very fast. Spine is very important because any part of the body, if you injured, it only stays there. Like let's say if you injured your wrist, it's only going to impact your hand movements. But spine, any part of the spine, if you injured. Either you will lose some ability or most of it, and spine is one of the most stubborn part of the body to recover, to treat it. So it takes a long duration to heal. And second thing, pain, back pain, knee worn out, hip worn out. This will be the second issues. And third problem is your lifestyle. Your entire lifestyle will start to change. The moment you have pain, there will be a limitation of what you are doing every day. So you lose your lifestyle there. Some of them will be for lifetime. They'll be in medications, painkillers, and all this. You have to keep your back muscles strong. So even though you have any injuries or you have fall and landed on your back, the impact will be very small. And second thing is keep your daily exercises. You don't have to go for like hundred meter jog or marathon. No, just something very simple. Simple stretching, simple strengthening exercise. Third is always make sure that you look upright. Your body is always straight up, so you don't hunch yourself. Every day, just spend one hour to do stretching and strengthening exercise. Something very simple to keep your body. And third thing, always keep your body upright. Keep your posture right. No matter how busy you are, stop in between to bring yourself up. Don't keep working until you forgot your own posture. So that is actual lifestyle. For body posture, very simple. Let's say you are working every day on a desk. First thing is keep your body upright. So you can do this. You know, in between of every half an hour, stretch your upper hand and then bring your chest out. So always remember, even though you are sitting in front of PC, you you have to sit straight. So your you have to push your body until the end. Do not sit at the edge of the chair because the moment you sit at the edge, for example, let's say this is my chair. If I sit at the edge, when I work, I'm automatically hunching. So we don't want that, you know. So when you sit at the end, you see, with the support, you're already straight. I'm all I'm straight, right? And then always have neck rest. Don't have chair with half shoulder. 
If you are working in a computer for 8 to 12 hours, some of them since they started working from home, they are actually working 24-7. So try to get a proper chair with the back support so that you don't hunch a lot. And then in between of work, come up and walk around. So don't wait until your body is tired. Keep your thigh muscle and your back muscle strong. Simple exercises like um, yoga will help. Strengthening exercises, very basic like uh, back and thigh muscle exercises. Keep your core strong so that it keeps your posture upright. So that's one of the tips lah, to actually keep your body straight. Although Beatrice and Eunice have faced many challenges when they have scoliosis, they feel more comfortable and it has become better after the treatment. They also follow the exercise and advice given by the doctor to make sure that they will not be facing the same illness anymore. Uh, for advice, firstly, if you have the means, if you really have the money, you can go take an x-ray. I really highly recommend an x-ray because until the x-ray, I didn't know that my back and my neck was so bad. Yeah, I just know that it was painful. I just know that something is not right, but I didn't know it was that bad, okay? So if you have the means, you can opt for an x-ray first, okay? Uh, whether to see a physio or a chiropractor or any doctor of your liking, it's your choice, okay? But for me, my, my experience of it was with a chiropractor. I think a chiropractor helps you immediately because he pushes your bone back to its original place on the spot. Okay, so that's why I chose a chiropractor faster, faster. Uh, second advice would be uh, really try to get your posture right. Like don't don't ignore. Like if your desk and chair at home does not fit your height, do something about it. Don't just go with it. You know, like I hey, just just work with it. Like don't have that mindset. Don't ignore the wrong positions because long term wise, the effects will hit you. Yeah. So. Uh, if you cannot, like for me, my table is built into my wall, so I cannot change my table. So the only thing I can change is my chair height. Yeah, so if you really have situations like me, like change whatever you cannot get like a laptop stand or like get a higher chair, prop yourself higher, then put like something below to lift your legs, you know, like really sit at a position that makes you feel comfortable. Yeah, because I think we'll be working at home for quite a while so yeah that's like my second advice so for students Nah,才不会影响到你的啊，你会有得到手的吸收。或你们看电话的时候，你们也不要一直这样子驼背啊，还是你的头向下去看那个电话。最最好是啊，你你的头是这样抬起来，就算看书还是电脑，你们要的话